Namaste and a very, very good morning to all of you. In today's presentation, uh, we will be seeing how to import a tab delimited file into Python. To do this, uh, let me show you a tab delimited file. I'm in my local machine. There is a file here, which is called as demo. Let me double click on it. Now, this is how the file is. As you can see here, there are two important observations that you need to make uh, while you import this particular file uh, in Python environment. The first of the observation is the first row has the column heading. As you can see here, age, marital, address, income, income category, car, car category, so on and so forth. All these things are nothing but the column header, right? You have uh, a whole lot of uh, variables here. There are around 20 to 28 uh, uh, variables here. I will not be uh, going through all of these variables, but uh, as you can see here, uh, we have the demographic details in the first row. The actual data begins from the second row onwards. So this is the first important observation that you need to make as to what is there in the first row. The first row actually has the column header. Uh, the data begins from the second row onwards. The second important observation that you need to make is what is the delimiter in this case? Here, you don't have a comma separated uh, variable type. What you have is a tab delimiter, right? I repeat, the delimiter between two variables is a tab. Now, how are we going to import a tab delimited file into Python? Let me just close this. I'm in uh, Jupyter Notebook uh, now. Let me uh, import pandas, import pandas as pd. PD is uh, uh, Aliyah's name for pandas. Now, once you sort of uh, fire this query, pandas uh, gets uh, imported. Now, what you can do is uh, give a command PD dot read underscore table. I repeat, T dot read underscore table. You can open parenthesis and within double quotes, you can specify the path of the file. The path of the file in this case is D drive Python. I can just uh, specify the name of the file here, which is demo.txt. Many times uh, people specify the name of the file, but uh, forget to specify the extension of the file. Uh, so you need to specify the name of the file as well as the extension of the file within double quotes. Now, uh, the second argument here is very, very important. The second argument here is the delimiter, right? So uh, separator is equal to within quotes, I can specify slash T, slash T, because uh, the source file has a D, uh, limiter, which is tab. The third argument, which is uh, optional, is header equals zero. So this is the command that uh, we will be using to import the tab delimited file demo. I'll be specifying uh, pd dot read underscore table, read underscore table. And within parenthesis, I can specify the location of the file. Separator is equal to slash t and then header equals zero. Let me just go ahead and fire this query. So this is what you uh, can see here. It displays all the variable names. It displays all the column heading and you also have the uh, Row identifier, uh, row, row identifier here with the body of the file also be displayed here. Now, what you can do here is once pandas uh, reads uh, this particular uh, file, you can just uh, save this as a data frame, right? I'm going to save uh, this uh, txt file as df. I can just give df dot head of, right? It just displays uh, five rows. Uh, and uh, uh, 28 columns, right? You can just scroll to the right side. You can see all the 28 uh, columns uh, being uh, displayed here. Now, uh, in case uh, you are interested to explore this command uh, further, what you can do is uh, you can just simply use the help uh, function. Let me give this correct spelling. It is help of pd dot read underscore table. Let me go ahead and fire this. It just gives a detailed explanation of uh, all the arguments that you need to supply uh, and uh, what should be uh, inside uh, the 
read underscore table uh, what all options you can specify it gives just gives a detailed uh, explanation of uh, different arguments and different uh, options that are available to you so uh, just to uh, recap uh, our discussion uh, pd dot read underscore table uh, is used to uh, import a a tab delimited file, you need to specify uh, the location of the file, that is the path of the file within double quotes, uh, along with the extension. The second argument is uh, to uh, specify uh, what kind of a delimiter is it, right? Separator is equal to slash T within double quotes and header equals zero. If you do not have the header, right, uh, you can just specify it as none, right? Let me just see here, instead of zero, let me just type uh, none here. You can see here what has happened. Pandas has assigned uh, its own uh, uh, its own uh, column name here. It is uh, calling the first column as zero, one, two, three, four, five, right? And the first row, right? Uh, age, marital status, address is being treated as though it is part of the data. This is not part of the data, and therefore, instead of none, it is better to give zero here, right? Let me execute this. Right now, uh, this is correct because uh, the column heading uh, will be shown. Uh, uh, the column heading will be shown when you specify header equals zero. So this is how you can import a tab delimited file. Uh, with this, I come to the end of uh, today's presentation. I thank you very much uh, for watching uh, my video. I request you to subscribe to my channel, uh, The Outlier, and please continue to subscribe uh, and uh, share my uh, videos. I'll see you in my next uh, presentation. Thank you very much.